Hello friends. Welcome to yet another fascinating video of Wisdom Zone. This is Shubro and friends, I'm quite sure you have already guessed it from the thumbnail that today I am going to discuss some advanced English vocabulary and let me tell you all these words can be used in different ways. So it is my earnest request to all of you please watch this video to learn all the advanced English vocabulary I am going to discuss with multiple users. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to wisdom zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification so without wasting any more time let's get started friends welcome back once again to this fascinating video on advanced english vocabulary and as i have promised today i'm gonna give you some extremely advanced english vocabulary for your overall english communication and i'm also gonna discuss multiple uses of all these advanced english words so before I go ahead, let me quickly inform all of you that I have provided some more videos on advanced English vocabulary and words with multiple meanings in the description. So if you haven't checked those videos yet, please do not forget to check the links given in the description. So without further ado, let's get started with today's advanced English vocabulary with multiple users. So friends, the first advanced English vocabulary I'm going to discuss is cherish. It can be used in multiple ways. So it is a verb. In the first meaning is on your screen. It means to love and care for someone or something. That is to cherish. When someone loves and cares and tries to protect someone or something, that's called to cherish. So let me show you how to use it. As a single mother, she really cherishes her children. So I'm quite sure it's clear that she loves and cares and tries to protect her children. So up next, we will see the second cherish as you see on your screen it is again used as a verb it also means to keep hopes memories in one's mind because they are important to that person so that's also called to cherish so let me show you how to use it i often cherish the memories of my good old school days that means i often remember and i keep those memories in my mind as because they are important up next we are going to focus on the next word and that is abrogate let me pronounce it once again it's abrogate and it can be used as a verb. Let me tell you, it means to abolish a law, agreement, or right formally. That is to abrogate. That means you may say that to revoke a law or agreement or right formally. That is to abrogate. So let me show you how to use it. The pact was abrogated 10 years ago. That means it was abolished. It was revoked. And I hope you know pact means an agreement or treaty. Up next, we are going to focus on the next word. That is plot. Plot can be used in multiple ways. It is used as a noun here. So the first meaning is on your screen. It means a small piece of land is called plot. So let me show you how to use it as a noun. Last year, we purchased a plot on the outskirts of Mumbai. That means we purchased a small piece of land on the outskirts of Mumbai. So up next, we will see the second meaning of plot. Again, you see the screen plot. It can be used in another way. Again, it is used as a noun here also. Here, plot means story of a film, book, play, etc. The story of a play or book, the story is called plot. So let me show you how to use it. The web series has a captivating plot. It means the web series has a very interesting story. So I'm quite sure it's clear. Up next, we are going to see the third meaning. Again, you can use this word plot in another way. And it is the third meaning. Here, we can use plot as a verb. It means to plan something that is illegal or wrong. So that is also plot. Here it is used as a verb. So let me show you how to use it. The terrorists were convicted of plotting a hostile attack on civilians. That means they were convicted, they were found guilty of planning an illegal hostile attack on civilians. So I'm quite sure it's clear. So up next we are going to focus on the next one that is Marvel. Let me repeat once again. It's Marvel. Marvel is also used as a verb here. The first meaning is on your screen. It means to experience a great surprise or to be astonished is called marvel so let me show you how to use it they marveled at the picture scenery so i'm quite sure it's clear that means they were astonished up next we will see the second meaning of marvel it is used as a noun here it also means an astonishing person or thing that is also called marvel and it is used as a noun so let me show you how to use it the marvels of technological innovations so i'm quite sure it's clear so up next we are going to focus on the last word that is Kindle. Here, Kindle is used as a verb. That's the first meaning. It means to start a fire 
So let me show you how to use it. We use twigs to kindle a fire. That means to light up a fire. So use some twigs. And again, you see the second meaning of kindle. Here also it's used as a verb. It means to arouse a feeling or emotion. That is also to kindle. That means to evoke a feeling or emotion. Arouse a feeling or emotion. That's also called kindle. So let me show you how to use it. It was my English teacher who kindled my interest in literature. So I'm quite sure it's clear. So friends, today I gave you some advanced English vocabulary and you can use most of them in multiple ways and try to go through the examples and make sentences and comment below. And I'm quite sure you have also liked this video like my other videos. So it is my earnest request to all of you to subscribe to this channel. Please do not wait. Immediately go ahead and subscribe to this time zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So stay tuned for further informative videos friends and do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this time zone.